What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic. So, Zion Williamson uh, just had a gender reveal with his girlfriend by the name of Akima now. Zion is 22, Akima is 29, there's a seven year age gap, but that's not really the big story here. This is a very messy situation for Zion, and I'll tell you why. But if you haven't seen the gender reveal video and how this sparked the controversy that we're about to talk about, here it is right now. My oh, baby, <laughs> you're going to see this at some point. I don't know what the future holds, but mommy and daddy love you. So upon putting that video out public and whatever other social media platform, People may have started putting the information out. Uh, porn star Mariah Mills, who apparently has had some kind of relationship recently, I'm not sure for how long, uh, with Zion Williamson, has now decided to put Zion on blast on Twitter, on Twitter and uh, reveal their relationship, how she feels about the situation and everything involved. Now, I try not to curse on this platform too much. Uh, I'm not really a vulgar person at all, but I will read these tweets that she put out completely uncensored. You have been warned. There is uh, sexual information on here and things of that nature. But just to give you an idea, and I'm pretty sure she's telling the truth. Why would she ever, she has no reason to lie about this at this point. And given how these, a lot of these young young men in the current NBA are complete idiots, I have, I have no reason to believe that she's making any of this up, especially based on Zion's behavior. All right, now check this out. These are just tweets from Mariah Mills, the porn star. You guys probably know about her, I'm sure. 31-year-old Mariah Mills. Ratchet, basic, regarding... Uh, Akima. The jokes write themselves. She then posts a tweet called, con or says, congrats Zion Williamson, I'm happy for you, with a picture of what appears to be a uh, Snapchat, I'm assuming, yes, yeah, Snapchat DM conversation with Zion, and she posts a couple of these, where Zion says, love you in these jeans. And I'm going to FaceTime you in a little bit so we can talk about you moving. All right. She posts another tweet by Zion. I want to fly you whenever I'm at for four days. You sexy as fuck. She posts another tweet where she says, I hate you on God. Looks like you looks like you've been had a girlfriend and sleeping with other women behind my back. Zion Williamson, you liar. Posts and more more DMs, more private messages with Zion, where Zion says, "Bet I don't have a girlfriend, but if I move you to New Orleans, would you be cool uh, with be like my official censored?" And I know it says, "I guess girlfriend." Just asking, so I don't I know how to go about the situation with respect. Zion then posts again or messages again. When you move, how much do you expect me to pay you a month? But I'm super excited. Mariah Mills then says, better pray I'm not pregnant too because I'm definitely late. That's a tweet. More tweets. I was with you last week in New Orleans and you couldn't tell me you had a random thought pregnant after all I've done for you, Zion. More tweets. I let you fuck me so many times with a condom and this is what you do to me? A hood rat that does CPN? I guess that's capping. That does capping. I don't know what CPN means. Mariah Mills posts again, you putting my life in danger. Fucking all these hoes raw. I warned you about trapping type hoes, Zion, and you didn't listen to me. I know the game. Fuck you and congrats again. The bill was too high, so you had to scrap for crumbs when you couldn't see me or I was busy. Couldn't even impregnate a real porn star. Now, Zion's, Akima, Zion's girlfriend, now baby mama, is a ex-stripper. Ex-stripper, right?
Let's see here. She says, I motivated you to get back in shape. I let you fuck me all kinds of ways and fill me on your phone. And film me on your phone. And you impregnate a low-budget porn star. DNA test or I'm done. You sound stupid. This was literally my man and I never once looked for clout from anyone. I never posted when I was in New Orleans. I was loyal to you. And you got a thought preggers. I told you you was going to be the next king next to LeBron. I motivated you. Your baby mama is the reason you gained weight. She toxic. I hate this for you. That honestly, as Zion Williamson, you hurt me with this one. I couldn't sleep last night. I let you spit in my mouth last week when we fucked. You could have told me you had another whore pregnant. How was that going to work moving us both to New Orleans? You think I would have found out? You let that hoe finesse you. This is why I'm angry. She's 29 with an adult child already. I know what comes with being basketball. I know what comes with being a basketball player girl. I know there will be other women, but didn't expect you to get these hoes pregnant. I don't have any tapes. They're all on his phone. And I'm not like that. We're really together. Congrats to both of them. Blessings. God don't make mistakes. Don't call my phone, Zion. You lost me for good. Until I see DNA, I'm done. Why be a low-budget baby mom when you can be the kept girlfriend? I guess I'm going to be stepmommy. You not fucking up You not fucking up me and Zion Williamson plans, baby or not. It is what it is off this. You need a baby to get a bag. I get it just because we're not on the same level. I'm in Atlanta, ho. See me in December. <laughs> okay, I guess she's going at it because I guess people are now attacking her on Zion's side and Akima's side. I started getting knotless braids because that's all you wanted me to wear, Zion. And waist beads. Now it all makes sense. I hate it here. Posted videos the last week of her in New Orleans. I deleted the video of the photographer pouring honey in my mouth because you told me you felt disrespected. And I come on Twitter to see you trending with a thought being pregnant and you kissed that hoe? Why do you hurt me like this? Blah, blah, blah. If anything happens to me, Zion, it's on you because this girl's family is threatening me. All right. God, that was more than I wanted to talk about or more than I wanted to regurgitate. But these are all the tweets. and I'm sure they're going to keep coming about Zion Williams. And now I said I really don't care. I've been on record saying this. I don't care what these players do in their free time. As long as it's not affecting your game. As long as it's not affecting your game and your, and your, and your basketball lifestyle and do do whatever the hell you want to do i don't care tweet get involved in these lifestyles do you until it starts jeopardizing your performance your career now i think this is now it's just coming to light a lot of this is starting to make sense now mr zion williamson we can't get your ass to get on the basketball court even when you're healthy you remember zion said recently before the season ended in an interview and he's like, he basically said, not verbatim, but this was the message he put out to the reporter and publicly. He said, basically said, it's not about the health. Physically, I'm fine. But I don't feel like Zion Williamson right now. Stating mental health. I don't feel, he's saying, I don't feel myself. I don't feel like I'm Zion. And that's why I'm not back on the floor. Buddy, we now see why, where your mind is preoccupied at. Your mind and your body, to be honest with you. Mentally and physically, you seem to be very preoccupied and have been preoccupied, sir. I see what you be doing. I see why you can't get on the floor. Take care of your body. Work on yourself. Work on your career. Because you too busy out here chasing these women. Making bad decisions. I wish I could just sit sit Zion down in the room before all this and talk to this guy. Get him a life coach. Get him somebody that has experience that could talk to him about these things, these potholes, these traps. And then just slap him around. Slap him around, man. This is a young man that's 22 years old. Money. Has his whole life ahead of him. Hasn't even fully discovered himself yet. Hasn't fully became a man. He looks like he has a man's body, but he has not became a man. This is still a young boy, a young man in his early 20s. Has a lot to figure out. Has a lot of learning to do. 
before you start messing around with all these women having unprotected sex frequently and now getting them pregnant especially these older women that are in this lifestyle they're they they are predators in that they are looking for men with money young men with money and clout and fame so that they could get knocked up by these young men with money. See, it, it ain't usually going to happen with an older man because the older man know what the deal is. But these young guys are just out here being young, dumb, and stupid. And stupid. Especially these NBA players. Especially the NBA players who are caught up in these circles. Trust me, I was I was in my early 20s. I know what it's like to get caught up over a beautiful woman because you ain't never had one before. That that would be my excuse because I ain't do with money. But now you got money. You can have any beautiful woman you want. You can't even get that excuse like I had it. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing, man? Oh, my. And, and, and. You know, you know what's worse? Some people say, you know what's worse than being young, dumb, and stupid? is being young, dumb, and stupid with fame and fortune. Because some people say, well, you know, I figured it'd be better if you were young, dumb, and stupid with fame and fortune because, you know, the money can correct things. The money can fix things. The money, you know, can make up for your mistakes, can change the, 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 traje the trajectory where a possibly bad situation is going. The money is the elixir. No, what the money does is open up avenues, open up doors where somebody that's young, dumb, and stupid that ain't got money have no access to. Now that you have the money and you young, dumb, and stupid, now you have opened up so many more doors to let these people in, let the demons in to attack you, to attack your young side, your dumb side, and your fame and fortune side. And if you ain't got the experience and the knowledge and or the knowledge or the right people in your corner who you may be, you know, opening up this information to to tell you, bro, you need to step back. You're going to get caught up in some stuff. It's going to be overwhelming for you. You don't know how to act. When all these predatory women are coming your way as a young athlete with money, you don't know how to handle yourself. And it's even worse with this generation because these young guys grow up with social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all these, all this stuff. And they grow up seeing these women every day going on their page, scrolling them, scrolling, 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 liking the pictures, da 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 da, -da. growing up, fantasizing about these women on their social media pages, looking at them every day. And now when they finally come up, they get the money, they get the fame, and now they actually have access to these people that they have been fantasizing, of, fantasizing about. Well, they, they all in. They jumping all in, 100%. Idiot, man. Idiot, idiot, idiot. And we can't get you to get on the basketball floor. And now the situation is, is super messy. Super messy. The porn star you've been messing around with, who you've been keeping it on the low low with, feeling some type of way. And calling you out on the fact that this woman is toxic for you and is affecting your game. They all toxic. She ain't dissolved from the situation. This is your fault, Zion. These are the doors you open. These are the doors you walked into or let people in. Come on, man. I'm not one to, you know, poo-poo on people's relationships and good news about, you know, future family and things like that. But we know how this story goes. I would be highly surprised if a fruitful relationship or fruitful marriage comes from Zion Williamson and his baby mama. I don't know how, how long it's going to take in the future. I don't know. 
But I would be shocked if this thing lasted and was generally considered a healthy, fruitful relationship. Because he's too young. She did what she had to do. She might not care what happens. The baby in her. But he don't he 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 does it. He has an experience. As much experience as he as he may have had being Zion Williamson and having money and access, he still does not no, he still does not understand. He still has not became a man. He still has a lot of trials and tribulations to go to. I guess you could say this is one of them. But this is the one, this is not the one you want right now. All right? This is not the one you want right now. No, sir. This is one you ain't coming back from, buddy. You stuck with this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're 22 years old. 22. With so much figuring out to do and so much safe, logical, rational fun you could be having or could have had without all this drama and suing and swirling around you now and still focusing on basketball should be number one. Your career should be number one. You mess around and these injuries become so ridiculous and you really can't get out on, on the floor, buddy. There's always a possibility. You never know what can happen with injuries. You might be out the league if, if it gets that bad. And, and, and the revenue, the revenue ain't going to keep coming like it used to. And now you're in a situation. I'm not saying that will happen, but it's a possibility. This is always a possibility. I hope he's I hope he's been smart with his money, but I'm not sure anymore, considering that he was talking about porn star Mariah Mills. He was talking about moving her in and paying her to be with him and live with him, giving her an allowance. This is a made woman. This is a porn star. She's a millionaire on her own. What the hell are you paying this woman for? You are Zion Williamson. Why are you paying a porn star to move in and be in a relationship with you and live with you? A made woman who has her own bag, her own money, her own bag. What are you paying her for? What are you doing? You idiot. You idiot. How about you take that money and put it into your health and nutrition and your training and your medical? How about that's what you be using that money for? Instead of this nonsense, man, you a clown, man. You 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 a clown. And before all this happened, I I said I think I'm done with Zion, man. I think I'm done. I'm done with this guy. He ain't got it physically. He ain't got it mentally. Man, I'm really done with this guy. And I hate it because I love his game when he's on the court. But I I don't think it's gonna. I I, I don't think he's going to have a long, consistent, sustainable career. I don't. I don't. And you thought he was mentally preoccupied before and physically preoccupied before. And now that this is coming out, now you got a baby on the way. Now you got a baby on the way, but now you got all this drama and suing your family now. Your family. Your baby mom, your daughter. On top of all that. And you wasn't mentally prepared to play then. You sure as hell ain't going to be mentally prepared to play now with all this. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You ain't, you ain't, he ain't fit for the NBA. He ain't. And I hate it because I love his game, man. But you see stuff like this and you wonder, and you wonder why these players, a lot of these young players, man, they, they had it, they head ain't on right. And the media, and the NBA has, I don't know how good these resources are in these programs they have that try to prepare these players um, coming into the league for, for these kinds of lifestyles and these kinds of situations and you know how to manage your money, how to be smart, da 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 this, that, and the third. I, I, I don't know how good they are, but regardless, these players are going to do what they want to. They're young, dumb, stupid, and they got money. And they don't know how to control themselves. They don't know how to act. When these predatory women can out, come out here specifically looking for people like them, they don't know how to act. They can't keep it in their pants, and they don't—they don't know how to flex properly. 
You're not. You're the man. Supposed to be the man. You're a young man. You got the money. You got the fame. They're looking for you. You flex on them, but they out here flexing on you. They calling the shots. They pulling your card. That's supposed to be your job, buddy. Clown, man. Clown behavior, young behavior. Young, dumb, stupid with fame and fortune and money. Unbelievable. If, if I'm a Pelicans fan, I would be clamoring to trade Zion right now. Because I can't see it getting any better from where it was before all this information came out. It was hard enough to get the guy to play. Now, I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised. Yeah, I'd be ready to get him the hell out of here. Move on without him. Because if your goal is to win a championship, if that's what you guys want, Pelicans organization, if that's what you guys want, good luck. You know, I could be wrong, but given the pattern of history and the new information and really seeing what this guy is about and what he's really doing in his free time and, he, and what he is preoccupied with mentally and physically, I wouldn't even be bothered. I, I, I don't trust him. They'll probably keep him around just because it's an investment at this point. You use your draft pick, and when he does play, he, he, he puts butts in the seat. Whether you win a championship or not, but I w I wouldn't want to deal with it. I'll let his ass go. I would. Just looking like he up there smiling. He ain't looking like a whole clown. Looking like a whole clown, bro. These dudes are sucker. A sucker. They're all suckers. For for a pair of big boobies, a thin waist, thick thips, and a big booty. They all suckers, man. They all suckers. Got all the money on anywhere. Get anybody. You can see that on a regular basis. You can see 50 of them girls a day. But you want to be stupid about it. Any day, any time you want it, you can have it. It's on command for somebody of your stature. Why? But you want to be stupid about it. Unbelievable. All these dudes are simps. I'm telling you. These young basketball players, they're all simps. They out here simping, doing the craziest things, blowing the crazy kind of money, ready to spend crazy kind of money on these women. These women that have their own money, they have their own. They don't need you. They want you and they want you for certain reasons, but realistically, they don't need you. They have their own money. Same thing with Jordan Poole. Spending half a million dollars on a rap star. Who got her own bag. These dudes are idiots, man. He right up he right up there with Jordan uh Jordan Poole. Out here stupid muff. Stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. Affecting Jordan Poole. People keep talking about the Draymond. Oh, it's the punch, it's the punch. That's why he, he didn't play well. Well, I, seems like he's pretty preoccupied too. Everybody knows about Jordan Poole. And how the woman have effect on him. Spending half a million on Ice Spice. Some girl from New York. Where's she from? The Bronx? I don't even know. Like I said, he better he better work on getting on the court. Because if this thing don't work out and he got to pay child support or if it does work out and he has to continue to financially provide for this new family of his and their lifestyle, he gonna need a, a, a decent NBA paycheck. He better work on getting his body in shape and getting on a court and get the money, even though the money's guaranteed. But you never know, you can be put out the league, like I said. And another thing, I bet she was big mad that Zion Williamson was out here creeping with other women and not telling her why, because she's a porn star. It is her profession, it is her livelihood. And porn stars are very serious about who they're having unprotected sex with because getting an STD would directly affect their profession. So I bet she is big mad that she trusts in him. Raw dogging, having sex without a condom, trusting him, and he out here 
doing God knows what else that we more than what we may already know already. Who knows? More people might start coming out publicly saying, I was with Zion too. I was with Zion too. I bet she is mad. Because that's affecting her bag and that's affecting her career. Mariah Mills. They very serious about that. Very serious. If you are Zion Williamson's arch nemesis, we all know what his kryptonite is. Food, strippers, and porn stars. Food, strippers and porn stars that is his ultimate kryptonite ultimate 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 i probably went on too long probably repeated myself too many times but lord jesus good luck pelicans fans good luck good luck to the city of new orleans because y'all got a uh <laughs> y'all y'all got some interesting times ahead i'll say that much let me know what you think about it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified. Catch you on the next one. We out, baby.